Wow. You know, I'm, I'm having a girl, too, and I cannot wait. You make sure you and your husband enjoy this time together, because once that baby comes, you won't have time for anything else. Yeah, well, I, I don't think that's going to be a problem for me. I take it you're not married. I realize it's the going trend to have a baby on your own. But a child needs a father. If you can't provide one, you shouldn't get pregnant. Hey, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Wedding ring. You didn't lose it, did you? I left it on the kitchen sink. Oh. You forgive me? Always. My apologies, young lady. I jumped to the wrong conclusion. My husband and I are, are too happy to be angry. Best of luck to you both. Thank you. here. I like you too. Which is good. For the baby, yeah. I mean. You know, I, I just, I wouldn't want her growing up in a house where the adults don't get along and they just kind of grit their teeth and don't say anything to each other just, just to keep the peace. I think kids can pick up on stuff like that. You're right, they do. And it's not like you say much anyway. Although it's easy to tell when you're mad or, or upset, you are keyed up and silent. As opposed to, well, silent and silent. Well, you think you think I'm I'm easy to read? Yes, actually, I think I think you're easy to read. You don't use a lot of words for conversation, but it's it's pretty clear what you're thinking, unless you completely shut down. Well, you use a lot of words. That's because I'm trying to keep up both ends of the conversation. You like to talk. You know, yeah. Sometimes, but first I, I, I kind of say what I think, and then I say what I think you think, and then I say something else, and you say nothing, and then I drive you crazy like I'm driving you crazy right now, yeah, probably. Yeah. No, no. No? Come no, on, really. please. That's probably why you work so much, because you probably don't mind getting shot if you, you know, buys you a little peace and quiet. Okay. Yeah, well, that's what I... I always thought I wanted. You know, last time I took off, I traveled all over the place. I would go for days without talking to anybody, and Sam, it is easier. But in the end, easy wasn't what I wanted. Me either. I mean, Let's face it, having a baby isn't easy. And the idea of being a mother still scares me to death, but I am, Jason, I am looking forward to it more than anything. I guess I just realized that easy doesn't always 
get you everything. I mean, sometimes the things that are the most difficult end up being the best. Hey, you mind some company? Yeah. Somebody won't be like sleeping. She's probably not ready for a bottle. She just wants to know she's not alone. Well, isn't that what everyone wants? Even if you think you're fine on your own, and even if you don't realize it, one day your whole life changes, and... Well, I know where I belong. <laughs> Thank you for bringing your... I know it's probably the last thing you wanted to do. But it was my gift. I wouldn't do anything for you. I want to uh, check on her condition. This elevator, but they need to get a special fuse. Well, hello. Have you ever heard of an out of order sign? The courthouse, nothing works right here. Right, might as well relax. We could be here for, for a while. while. Yeah, sure. Why not? That's kind of the day I've been having, actually. I spilled coffee on my new outfit before I even left the house. And, and then I and then I was going to work and I had a detour off and, and I had to go all through this road construction and made me 20 minutes late to work and then I got to work and I broke a heel on probate and I had to put on really uncomfortable shoes these ones actually and they're killing my feet and then I was accused of stealing confidential files and now I'm stuck in the elevator with my security risk ex who everybody thinks I'm covering for and if that's not enough I have to take my GED test tomorrow. Yes, and I haven't studied for anything. No, so I'm probably going to fail. Would you mind if I scream? Because you're just standing here being all calm and insufferable. I, I can't fix the elevator. I definitely don't know anything about your shoes. But maybe I could help you pass your test. You know something I don't. This is my house. Sonny and Carly are in the middle of a huge crisis, Jason. Yeah. I mean, really, you weren't supposed to be home for hours ago. No, no, Come on, go away. You no, cannot see me like this. Why not? Lizzie. Why not? Because try it. It's like a scary monster. I hurt them. Really? Come on. I gotta go upstairs no, and take this stuff up before it dries. No, you don't. It looks and then I gotta go look. Something. What is it? Yeah. Oh, 
you want to play like that, huh? Oh, you're yeah, so dude. No, you too. Come on. Horrible.